could I have been so blind? Your bastard brother could never have guessed where they were hidden without help. It all makes sense now. This is why you've avoided the subject ever since we met up with each other again. That story of outlaws was a deliberate lie. Outlaws, my ass. You have nothing to say? So this is the reason for your torment for the last 15 years, brother. This is what made you leave everything here, isn't it? Tell me, Alistair, what did it feel like to kill them? Answer me! How could you do this, you son of a bitch? They trusted you. I trusted you. I had no choice, Mors. You refused to follow our liege lord's orders. He had to punish you, as an example to others. You, one of his most faithful knights, betrayed him. I did what seemed right. How could you let them condemn my family? And why didn't you obey him? You had orders. You were supposed to kill Prince Rhaegar Targaryen's wife and children. We had won the war. You know well why we had to do it. We needed to kill them. To bring peace to the realm. What were you thinking? Did you think the Lannisters would let you do as you please? Of course not! I knew I would be punished for my crime, and I was ready to accept that. But my family did not deserve the same fate. The choice was mine. The punishment should have been mine. That's why I hid them. This was why I asked you, my friend, my brother, to watch over them. And instead, you betrayed me. I was obeying my orders. You were the one who convinced me to take the black. Fifteen years, Alistair. I stayed at the Godforsaken War for fifteen years, thinking my family was safe. It was your idea. You're the one who convinced me they would be happier knowing I was alive. It was all horseshit! I thought I would be able to keep all of you safe, Mors. Things did not work out as I'd planned. When I learned of the punishment they had planned for you, I immediately stepped in on your behalf. To save your life, I convinced you to take the Black, and I thought I could help protect your family. But the Lannisters would not be humiliated. They agreed to let you live, but not without a price. They asked for one thing in return. Your life for your families. Do you have any idea what this cost me? You should have refused! You cannot refuse an order given by Tywin Lannister, Moors. I also had a family to protect. If I had refused to obey, someone else would have done it. He would have then returned to Riverspring and done the same to my family. You condemned your family by refusing to follow orders. Once again, you did as you pleased. You killed them yourself. You knew what would happen. You and your bloody nature. If you'd just done what you were ordered to 15 years ago, we wouldn't be here now. You made your choices and I mine. We've avoided the consequences for 15 years, but it's time to face them. I don't want to fight you, but I shall do what must be done. Come forward, Alistair! What's going on here? How dare you enter the throne room? We'll take care of them, and continue from where we left off. You've made the right decision for once, my friend. Drop your weapons immediately! And don't even think of fleeing. We'll finish what we've started. Did you hear what I said? Surrender or die? The double-edged sword will fight its last fight. Let's end this madness, Moors. It serves no purpose. You made your choice, traitor. It is your fault that my family was massacred. My fault? My fault! You had as much part in their deaths as I. Yes, I struck the final blow, but your decision set the events in motion. You chose to go against your Lord and Master's orders, whereas I obeyed him. It was your decision that led to their death. You have to stop trying to place all the blame on me. You betrayed me. 
I had to, for my family, for my house, for my people. They are the ones that would have suffered the consequences if I hadn't. You killed innocent people, then fled Westeros to escape your guilt. I chose to save an innocent family, and was willing to pay the price for it. Moors, Serena's cries haunt me every night. My exile, my faith. There is no light, no flame that can brighten the dark memory of your dead wife in my arms. Stop! Enough! All-powerful R'hllor, give me strength and guide my blade to victory. The light of the Lord, I feel its heat inside me. So the Lord of Light has decided my role here is done. I am ready to join him now. I suppose it is how it should be. I made choices, believing they were for the best. And they've led me here. All those I cared for. All those who mattered to me. They're all dead. And I could do nothing to save any of them. Kill me, Mors. Free me of this burden I can no longer bear. Farewell.